Hi, I'm Carlene with the Embroidery Library. If you're brand new to machine embroidery, or maybe you've never tried it, but you're thinking about getting your first machine, then this video is for you. Today, we're gonna to walk through the basic steps of sewing out a design on your embroidery machine, so you can follow along and feel a little more confident as you work on your first projects. First, you'll need to decide what you want to embroider on. I'm gonna stitch on this tea towel. You can stitch on pre-made items like this as long as they have enough of a flat area to hoop, or you can stitch on just a piece of fabric if you're using the design in a sewing project. You'll also need to pick out your embroidery design. This is the fun part because there are just so many options, you can really make your project one of a kind and personal to you. Pay attention to design dimensions and the file format to make sure the design is compatible with your embroidery machine. If you don't know what size and format your machine needs, check your machine's manual. I'm going to use this bee and flowers design from our website, Embroidery Library. I've already ordered this design, so now I'm going to download the design file and save it onto a USB drive so I can transfer it to my machine. Now it's time to get our fabric ready to embroider. The first thing you'll want to do is figure out where you want your design to go. And it can help to open up the design and embroidery software and print out a template of the design at actual size. You can use this to visualize exactly where you want the design to sit on your fabric. And when you have the design open in software, take note of which side of the design is at the top. I added a little arrow here. This will be important for hooping. And whenever possible, you want to make sure you have enough room around the design to hoop the fabric on all sides. So I'm going to place my design about here. To mark the placement, you have a couple of options. You can poke a little hole in the center of your template with a pencil, and then use an air erase pen to mark the center point and axis lines. Or, once you know where you want your design to go, you can use a quilting ruler like this to really get everything centered and precise. Now it's time to add stabilizer to our fabric. We need stabilizer to keep the design from shifting and moving around while it's stitching, so everything is gonna line up properly and look really good. I'm using a medium weight cutaway stabilizer here to make sure my design stitch out looks the best it can. Cut a piece of stabilizer that's a little bit larger than your embroidery hoop, because you're gonna need to make sure you can hoop it on all sides. And then, what you're going to want to do is take your temporary spray adhesive and just spray that stabilizer real good. Put that right on the back of the area that you're going to embroider. The last thing we need to do to get our fabric ready is to hoop it up. So take your embroidery hoop that you're going to use, lay it on the table, and lay your fabric on top. Now take your top hoop and line it up with the axis lines you marked earlier. When everything is lined up, snap the hoops together like this and tighten the screw if you need to to make sure everything is nice and secure. Okay, now let's get our machine set up. Plug in your USB drive, turn on your machine, and pull up the design on your machine's menu. Wind a bobbin with bobbin thread for machine embroidery. Check the color chain sheet for the design to figure out which color thread you'll need first and thread your embroidery machine. Attach the hoop to your embroidery machine and move the hoop to align the needle over the center point you marked on your fabric. Press the start button and the machine will start stitching the design. It'll keep going until it's done with the first color stop. After the first color stop is done, you might notice some jump stitches between areas like this. Some machines trim these automatically, but if yours doesn't, you could just cut them with scissors. When the first color finishes stitching, just thread the machine with the second color and start stitching again. Keep on repeating these steps until you reach the end of the last color stop. After the design is done stitching, take the hoop off the machine. There it is, turned out beautifully. And we can actually unhoop our fabric, so just loosen that screw. So the last thing we need to do is remove the stabilizer. And then just cut it pretty close to the embroidery. I like to go for about a quarter inch. You will see this on the back, but if you cut it nice and neat, it ends up looking pretty good. And there we go. There's our stabilizer all cut away on the back of the embroidery. And there's the front. So the last thing we'll want to do is just dab a little water on this airy race pen and that'll disappear and it'll look great. And that's it. Our towel's all done. Now, these are just the basics. There's a lot more to learn, and there can be different things to consider depending on your project, like which kinds of designs and stabilizer will work best with a given fabric. We'll put a link in the description to some resources where you can learn more about that. But this should give you a good general idea of how a machine embroidery project works. I hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel for more videos on machine embroidery projects and techniques, 
And make sure to check out our designs at embliberary.com. Thanks for watching.